Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and this is a PSD Touch tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at workflow between Photoshop and InDesign, specifically the efficiency of using layer comps. Why layer comps? Because simply put, it's a great way for you to organize your content into a single Photoshop PSD, and it reduces the need for redundant or even duplicate layers. If I tab over to the InDesign document, I want you to see that I'm using the Night Express Party Flyer template, which you can find on the Graphic River website. As I tab through the pages in this InDesign document, I want you to see that it's actually made up of several Photoshop PSDs. And in fact, if I show you the links panel, you can see that we have five separate Photoshop PSDs actually linked to this document. If I take a second and we talk about the function of this design, if I needed to make type changes to one of the cards and I wanted that to be duplicated across all the different designs, I'd actually have to make five separate edits. So any type changes would have to be done five times because I've got five separate PSD designs. So let's take a look at how we can be more efficient by using layer comps. If I take you over to the Photoshop document, I'm going to pull up a modified version of the Night Express template and you can see in the layer comps panel I've already created a blue, red, green, and violet version of that particular template card. I've done this by saving off individual layer comps. So let's go ahead and create the gold version of the card. Now, as a reminder, remember, layer comps will save the visibility of a layer. Is it showing or not? It'll save the position of the layer objects within your document. And then it also saves layer style effects, including your blend modes, your opacity settings, and then, of course, any layer style options you decided to apply. So if I go ahead, I'm going to make some changes and create the gold version of the card. I'll start by changing the background gradient. We have a gold gradient in the background. And then I'll just change the background elements first by changing the forms that are there. So we're not using the red ring. We're using this abstract form. And if we take a look at our diamonds and disco ball, I can change some of those. So I'll change the blend mode of the disco ball to say screen so we can see it better. Here I'm moving it within the document. I could also change the position on the page of those diamonds, just making some slight adjustments. I'm going to go to the layer where we have the picture. And I do want to point out, if you're using the actual Night Express template, you're provided a picture layer where you can insert your own picture. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I have flattened color versions of all the different variations of my model. So here's a gold version for use with this template. The reason I have the flattened versions is because adjustment layer settings cannot be saved to a layer comp. So I would still have to edit each one of these adjustment layers for my blue, my red, my green, my violet postcards, right? So I went ahead and made flattened versions so I can use these with the layer comps. Okay, so now I have all of the adjustments made. I just simply need to go to the layer comps panel, click the icon to create a new layer comp. We'll call this gold and we're saving again our visibility, the position, and our appearance of this particular document. If I click OK, I'm going to kick off with the blue version of the comp. I'm going to save the Photoshop file and we can tab over to InDesign. I'm going to bring up a blank version of the document that has six pages and I'll start by placing our layer comp Photoshop file. We can do this by going to the file menu and choosing place. I'll find that document. Here it is. And notice in the left hand corner it says show import options. Now I never check this box because whenever I want to see the import options for a file, I'll hold the shift key as I click on open or OK. So here are the import options for that Photoshop file. I can choose the blue layer comp and then notice the setting that says update the link options. 
you want to leave this set to keep layer visibility overrides because you do want your layer comp choices to be completely independent inside the InDesign file. So make sure you leave that set to keep layer visibility overrides. That way the changes you make in Photoshop don't directly impact the, or I should say the layer comp changes you make in Photoshop don't directly impact your InDesign document. So I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. Loads my cursor. I can drop this file on the page. I'm going to go ahead and just select it and I'll use the copy command which is Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. And then I'll just go to the next page and we can use the paste in place command. So this is Command Option Shift V on a Mac which would be Control Alt Shift V on a PC. So I'm just stepping through the pages, pasting in place, stepping through the pages, pasting in place, and now I have five pages. For the last page, page number six, remember in our sample document, page six had four different versions of the comp cards. We can do that as well. On page six, what I'll do is file place, which again is Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. And I'm just going to grab four files here real quick because I want to show you a trick for placing really fast. So I need four slots. I'm going to go ahead and do that. To place a grid, you can hold Command Shift on a Mac or Control Shift on a PC. So I'm going to drag out a grid, but I don't want the gutter space. So to adjust the gutters, I'll use Command and my arrow keys, which would be Control and my arrow keys. And I'm going to get rid of the gutter. So here I have a grid of four images. I'm going to drag that out, get that where I want it to be. Here it is. I've got four different cards. Now, these are the individual comp cards from the template. If I go to Mini Bridge, I want you to see how I can update these really fast. I've got my Night Express Layer Comp right here in the bridge window. I'm just going to drag these out and change this very fast. Drag and drop. Now that's done. If we take a look at the Pages panel, I've got all six pages filled with my layer comp file. If we take a look at the links panel, I want you to see we really have one PSD linked. Now it's linked a total of 10 times, but it's one PSD and it's linked. This means if I want to make a change to the text, I only have to edit the text one time. So if I flip back over to the Photoshop file, grab my type tool, go to one of the type layers, I can change the text, go ahead and save that file, and if we flip back over to InDesign, I can do an update. So I just select Notice I have the marker that says it's been modified. I can double click it to update. I can also click on the icon to update all the instances. So if I go ahead and double click this, it's going to modify. It'll take just a second. And notice now the word has been changed. So it says Nightclub Dallas. Now we can actually go through and update all those comps. So if I start on page two, I want you to see that I can simply select this inside of InDesign go to the object menu, choose object layer options, and simply pick the comp card I want to see. So this one I'll choose red, click OK. That's updated now to the red card. And I can navigate through the document and simply select the file, object layer options, and pick the colors that I want to see, and it'll update the individual card. So it takes just a second and it might be faster depending on the size of your document. Just pick the comp card I want to see, click OK, and you can see as I navigate through the file, here we have different versions of that comp card within the InDesign document, and yet we have one Photoshop file to maintain because it's simply been placed 10 different times. So this has been a PSD Touch tutorial. 
My name is A.J. Wood. Appreciate you being here as always. You guys have an excellent afternoon, and I'll see you next time.